No cap. We gotta get that nigga some help over there, man. That nigga going through it, bro. What is you hitting over there, motherfucker? What doing cocaine, <laughs> bro? That nigga ain't sneezing. <laughs> that is pure <laughs> cocaine. Pure cocaine. <laughs> that nigga is like, meh, 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 He going through it. Hey, for real, bro. Eighty-five South Show. Yeah, I heard, man. That's crazy. Everybody went. That's crazy. The dog. Where they got the dog? Dog definitely ain't talking. I mean, I tell you, that's the only motherfucker that you can guarantee ain't talking. Shit. What is the dog in there telling? Putting, <laughs> putting his paw on the motherfucker. <laughs> And then you swear to tell the roof, the roof and nothing but the whole hey, roof. Nigga, so the land up the dog get scratched on the <laughs> Damn, did. bro. I hate to hear that shit, man. Dog come Love out that the room, nigga, look man. up at you and look away. <laughs> Love that nigga slip. That shit terrible, man. I hope them niggas beat that shit, man. That'll be amazing. <laughs> Damn, man. I hate to see that shit for them. Yeah, man, me too, man. Any nigga, but especially that nigga. That nigga so damn talented, man. Crazy. These people ain't playing about that shit. No, nah, not at all. I told you a while ago the you days did. of crime is over yeah. with. Yeah, you did. Verbatim. The, because it's too digital. They could go back at any time yeah. and piece the shit back together. Can't do nothing no more. I'm gonna do a movie, bro, called, called What If. We're gonna go back. You remember that little Martin Luther King movie when them, them kids went back and they went back and they were marching with him? And on Selma, Lord Selma, and all that shit with Martin Luther King. Mm. Y'all don't remember that movie back in the day? Do shit like that. Nigga, I always talking about what if they were slaves. Well, what you if? You never seen the, uh, the, the the YouTube channel What If? Mm -mm. It's a YouTube channel called What If. You should watch it. Really? It's dope. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of scenarios. What if, what if the, <coughs> the world was. Got uh -huh. too close the to two, the sun. The world got too close to the sun. Or what if it was up. absolute zero for five seconds on Earth? What would happen? Or what if mm -hmm. dinosaurs were still around? And, you know what uh, page I spent all day on one time? What's that? Things they don't want you to know. Oh, yeah, you put me on to that shit. Yeah, that shit. shit's crazy. There's a lot of shit on there. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Crazy part about it, the, 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 the publication now is so crazy. You can't really stop too much shit that's getting put out. Right, right. And that's but that's why I consume <laughs> most of my media is YouTube, watching YouTube videos. They can monetize and, 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 you and slow ever, and you hinder up, you a little bit. You end up on one of them journeys, though, bro. end up watching some shit. You be like, how the fuck did I get here, man? No, no cap. YouTube got a lot of strange How did I get here, bro? You're going to be watching a bunch of shit on there, too. What's that shit you had me watching about the no trees on earth, or no forests on earth, some shit? I mean, they got all type of crazy shit, man. Ain't no trees. All the trees used to be everything was silicone-based before it was carbon-based. It was what? Silicone-based before it was carbon-based. It's like it's like crystallized shit, so they be like it's petrified wood, like the petrified forest, you know what I'm saying? The wood turned to stone over time, but them motherfuckers say that that shit was always stone. It was just trees with a different atmosphere. Everything used to be way big. Who said that? Shit on YouTube. One of them YouTube videos. One of them YouTube videos. I was watching some shit, bro, about airplanes and why planes don't fly no faster now than they did in the 60s. And it's because of everything is based around fuel costs, bro. Like everything in an airplane is <laughs> So you telling me they could we fly faster? They could yeah, fly faster, but it just would cost more fuel to fly faster, so the motherfucking airlines don't want to pay for the increase in food. So they're just cost. doing the speed limit. Just, they're doing, doing the slowest that they can, the, the, the save and conserve as much. Can you realize we can go to LA for real in like yeah, two and a half, three hours? If they hours. was willing to burn the fuel that it costs <laughs> to get places faster, they would, but they, they not. Because you think about what fuel costs in the 60s, versus what it costs now, so that's why they can't fly no faster, because if fuel was still at the same price that it was back then, then planes I would go. I'm gonna be a pilot, too. It'll probably take you, it could take you five hours, four, five, four and a half, five hours to get from New York to London, instead of eight and a half, nine. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna be a pilot. Or the fastest plane they don't even make no more. Remember, you used to be that G5, yeah, that, that, uh huh. Yeah. That too much it. fuel. They don't make it no more. The G5, my boy. Nobody wants to use that one. I told you, dude, hear your lighter, man. man Keep talking about some that that mine, man. Nobody stole your lighter, man. Fun, go yours. 
told that nigga. She gave him three about that got they like a yeah, foot the He thought I stole his life. He told me, can I get my internet? <laughs> uh, what is that? You need me, can I get my internet? He like Donald Trump. He like, can I get my internet? Everybody got your goddamn lighter, man. That is a, that is a, that is a, uh, probably that caused so much turmoil in the black community, a nigga light up, bro. Well, you see a nigga still, a nigga watch a nigga take it black. I'm gonna wait till you put it in their pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, get my lighter, man. Oh, my bad, bro. Nigga ain't never did it on purpose. Hey, man, on some real I shit, do though. Do we about to drop our first show. Hey, Which one? Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Hey. Pop your shit. One. Uh -huh. We got a couple of five on this first. Pop your shit. Yeah, I man. can't wait. Oh, man, it's gonna be live too. Be. You know, nah, you ain't, gonna ain't, no ain't no shit. Ain't no shit. Ain't no shit. We got a lot of promo flex. Like, man, so groovy that I dig. Yeah. Shit cool, like. Because that shit felt, like that shit felt good. That shit, that shit felt like the comedy shit that we got there. Came up on. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that shit don't exist no more. Like, like I say. We probably was the last generation that had to start on stage. Now you don't gotta start on stage, you start on the phone, but we brought back a platform to help motherfuckers who wanna start comedy be able to start on stage. You with that gotta go start on, on stage, you can't, you can't be no, that No, you don't process. have to start on stage, you, can, you gotta get on stage, but you don't have to start yeah, on stage yeah, you now. Start on stage. But you know, we got a platform now that where we can get, you know, I5 wanna give the new comedians a place to come to start, you know what I mean? Right. And we can discover the it's new talent. The city, no cap. It's highlighting the city, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not just limited to the city. We got people from other cities too. Facts. But it's a dope ass comedy scene in Atlanta that I don't think gets the respect and the claim that other Cities big get. cities get. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so anytime we can put that light on that, we got to. Right. Know, it, you got to come yeah. through if you're going to do some comedy. You got to come, come through ATL. Right? We just talk crap here, it don't matter. It don't matter who you doing a show for. You doing a show for the black folks, you doing a show for white folks, you doing a show for Hispanic people, you doing a show for old folks, you doing a show for young folks. All the crowd's gonna be making me laugh. You right. gotta prove it, and yeah. So that's, a, that's, a, that's that. necessary because like you said, them. They, it's looked at as the trenches in regards to comedy, but it builds you to where you can go into any room and, anyway. and thrive, you know anyway. what I'm saying? And, anyway. you know, and, and y'all two specifically coming from out of that, that, that gauge of knowing how that shit go. Like, I know it had to be nostalgic for y'all to be, to be back at that table off your shoulder, low. Uh, to be back in that, in it, what felt like the trenches for y'all, but it's, it's our shit though. Right. Oh, so yeah. it ain't yeah, like the first time that it's that's hot. What we, you know that's what I mean? We were going for. We right. were trying to get that. You know it, what I'm saying? It's yeah, some damn comedy shit. That room way back. We done seen when it was on Roswell Road. Right. Even before that, <clears throat> when they moved, before they moved it to we right there. Used to there. be a jazz club across the street. When y'all was what? Like fuck around, running to my pops out there. But they always had a little show back there, right? They always had a little show. But they were, it was just one of them little rooms. Bring one of them boss. Oh, you know, that, that spot used to be, yeah, everything different. Yeah. The punchline was on Roswell Road, but that spot was <laughs> Comedy Gold, Jerry Farber, Side Door, the yeah. one dude that tried to make you bring people mm. and not pay you no money. That's how I started. The, the bringer shows. shows. The, yeah, well, bringer the shows. Scale. That's how I started. Where, where, where the bringer shows? So, you, so it costs $25 to get on stage. But if you bring five people to watch you perform, then you don't have to pay. So, cause that, oh, so you brought a show. So you bought, you. that's why they call it bringer shows. Bring five people, then you don't have to pay to get on stage. But mm. I can never get five people to come, so I always had to pay $25. That's why it was crazy when we went back to Greensboro and sold all them tickets. And nigga was like, well, I've been fucking with you. No, you haven't, nigga. <laughs> no, you have not, my nigga. You I couldn't get you to come when the fucking ticket was five dollars. Now you want a right. hundred fifty motherfucker right. for free. Right. I think this is crazy, right. bro. Right. This is crazy. <laughs> all so the, the bringer shows here was he would give you a portion of all the tickets you brought out. So you bring five people, they pay twenty dollars or whatever. He'll give you ten percent. I said that's stupid. I could just get them five people to give me twenty dollars because they Fuck love you. the ones. Right. <laughs> they don't <laughs> care. Yeah. <laughs> you need twenty dollars. And you can just keep the hundred, nigga. That'd yeah, be your whole hundred. They scam. They scam the whole time. I can talk for about an hour each and get all these jokes. So that nigga gonna give you ten percent of a hundred dollars? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga give you ten dollars, bro. When <laughs> you bringing the people, I'm gonna give you hey, ten dollars. Hey man, they gonna give you ten dollars, bro. Ten minutes, nigga. You and imagine? Light you. <laughs> and and nigga, <laughs> you imagine? And light you. Light you. Taking a hundred dollars, bro. Like, hey man, hey man, break this twenty dollars for me, real quick. <laughs> hey, here you go, bro. Appreciate you. You, know, you bitch ass nigga. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Uh, that's I crazy. I ain't never really fuck with him like that. I'm, we Cause did. I always thought that shit was bullshit. You couldn't fuck I with him. I always had me a room. You hosted. They gonna give us a hundred. So back then, you always had your room. I they always, a, minimum, they gonna give you a hundred. I had a room every night of the week. <laughs> But then oh, when you say a room, room, you gotta explain what that mean, cause it wasn't mean, just a comedy this club. This is back in the day when motherfuckers used to, you know how motherfuckers go to clubs and lounges and shit? Right. Yeah. When I go to a club or a lounge, I'm like, let me talk to the manager or the owner. Hey, we need a comedy night in here. Cause What's every one night? of them clubs don't have, they got a night that don't make no money. They got an off night. What's your off night? Give me Wednesday. I take that over. Thursday. Yeah. What's your budget? Oh, we ain't got no budget, let's build it up. Hey, well, if I build it up, I ain't gonna have no budget when it's built up. Cause it's gonna be mine. Yeah. All right, bet. You gonna get the food, I'm gonna get the dough then. Then you gotta give me some of that food money, cause now I got your kitchen booming. Now we gotta come through with a real thing. And we gotta do this, you know we gotta do this shit at least six weeks, cause I don't give a fuck where you got a comedy room at. It's gonna take six weeks to get the motherfucker full. Right, to get it right. Remember when that shit started? Remember when, the, when we just showed up to scores? Yeah. And we started hosting? It's like the first year doing comedy. We was the only people that showed up for the show. Yeah, because I hosted that shit. We wound up shit. taking the show over. Two different times. Just because. It was so rowdy. Couldn't nobody host the shit. Right, right, right. Bruh. Well, that was that y'all, that was, that was your first room? Would yeah. you say that? What was your first room in the city? Shit, that I don't, was yours. I don't remember. What, was it Sugar? No, that, that squad was before that, but we didn't stay that long because that shit was just chaos. But y'all were like the bad boys of country. I can't ride right, for real. Mike Lowry, you got that. Y'all just run around. Like ain't nobody gonna right. right. anyway, 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 yeah. Everybody else started going to everybody, everybody else. Everybody started going. Yeah. Bro, we had, every, like, it was this white people night, Monday night, at the yeah. Star Bar. Shout out to Star Bar. Man, me and this niggas nigga used to be the only niggas down there. Still going. The only only one. One. It, was, it, was, it was one, rest in peace, Egypt, Egypt. of the dude that would be down there. Uh -huh. Big Drew. Big Drew, yeah. But that was it that was going through that. <laughs> and it was just a Monday night that had people standing room only, cheap drinks. You could still okay. smoke in that bitch. Like, yep. Damn. So how does it feel now to get to the point where you got not just this platform, but something that, you know, that, that's the element of where you started that comedy to have our, your own shit that's yours. You know what I'm saying? When you walk in the room, you ain't got to worry about nobody putting you up because you putting motherfuckers up. It's just back to it. It's back to it, because uh, come from the host and shit. Like, that whole, wait, that middle, whole not getting up shit didn't last no time. Because yeah. even the night... Nice, even that wasn't gonna be an option. Though. Right. We created the demand early. It went from, can we get up to, hey, y'all going up. Then it go from, y'all going up to the motherfuckers who host the room like, hey, man, y'all wanna do a little something? Come do my room. And then it come from, hey, man, I got a few dollars for you if you wanna just, yeah. you know, go up there for me. Hey, Lo hey since y'all in here, man, if you at least say something, they see y'all. It didn't last long. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. So y'all made y'all wave quick. Because it was, yeah, you so gotta keep it mind. Nobody, it, was a, it was a whole little gap. Atlanta Comedy was fucked up. It was in a fucked up place. There wasn't no comedy clubs for real. Right. Uptown was not back yet. The old Uptown had fucking gone. The one that's on, on Mary Street? The one before that? Right. Because that one, we was there when that bitch opened. They ain't had no liquor license because they used to be a club. Yeah, we performed in that bitch for about two weeks straight. Right, 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 right. The first right. couple weeks that they opened, we Turned was there every nigga. The shirt is slushes. <laughs> Milkshake. You be on stage, you don't hear nothing but blenders going up. Damn. They had no liquor license. Frozen drinks. So these motherfuckers specialized in frosty treats. He going stupid. And you out there having to do comedy and they get drinking a milkshake, uh, lactose in no, the mouth. No, because they had they had about five blenders there to go off all at the same time. So, so there was a wave of comedians maybe about three years or four before we started. That was like the last real wave, and then we got some on pieces. Right? Like, we just started running through that shit. Like, okay, where did they do comedy? Like, where did they do? Okay, this way you go, this way you go. Just attacking that shit and figuring that shit out. And. Damn. 
We back. July 7th, Augusta, Georgia. We gonna be at the James Brown Arena, man. Y'all don't wanna miss it, man. The return of the ghetto legends. So please, please, get your tickets at the 85southshow.com right now. You don't wanna miss Augusta, Georgia. July 7th, be there. Please, don't meet me there. Beat me there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Balls in your face. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. Now, y'all know the For Richer For Poor tour is going on, and we had to come home with it. Had to come home. Carly mm -hmm. home, but always bread Period. So, July 9th, we gonna be at House of Blues, y'all. D1 House only. of Blues. Like, ain't that crazy, y'all? We gonna be at House of Blues. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. We have some special guests that are coming to the Houston show. Y'all are not gonna wanna miss this. Some performances. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So the show starts at 8 p.m. So get your tickets right now at poorminds.com. The VIP. Y'all know everything gonna sell out. So get y'all tickets right now. Don't complain if you miss out, because we told you. Mm -hmm. I can't even show my hands as fast as fuck. Bro. You started in DC? No, I started in North Carolina, bro. <laughs> I started in Carolina, the Greensboro Comedy Zone, my nigga. Like I said, it was a bringer show. It was bring five people and you don't have to perform. So the first, I say the first, first six, seven months, I had to pay. But then once I, God once damn. they, yeah, but once, once they seen every time I went up what I was doing, they just stopped charging me to, to right. go up. And then after they stopped charging me to go up, probably like two months after that, the owner of the club was at one of the open mic nights. He just stayed, he usually, cause he got a, a place across the street called Arizona Peace, right. which was like, you come to the comedy zone, you come to the Comedy Zone and you get a free ticket to get into Arizona Peace. Like, so he would be at Arizona Peace. He didn't really give a fuck about the open mic. So one night he happened to be over there and he seen me go up. And after he seen me go up, he was like, man, you ever hosted before? And I was like, yeah. yeah. But I had. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, hell yeah, I host all the time, bro. I be hosting like a motherfucker. So, uh, I be hosting, bro. Me, I be hosting. What they call me? So he was like, all right, I'm going to try you out. Because the dude who was like the, the local celebrity in the comedy game, Chris Wiles, was starting to do shows outside of the city. So he was like, I'm going to try you out this Friday. Come up and host a uh, show. And I remember uh, the headliner was um, uh, Tom Simmons. And uh, I went up and I did the host of the show. And it, mind you, this is a... I'm talking about all white room, bro. Mm -hmm. Like redneck white yeah. people, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. was like, and I'm thinking that they it was gonna be like the open yeah. mic night. Right. I got in there and seen them trucker hats and that flannel, bro. I was like, oh shit. So I went up and I remember the first thing I said was like, who like NASCAR? And everybody was like, woo. I was like, fuck NASCAR. <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. I was like, I'm just playing. Cause they don't let no niggas do it. <laughs> and that was my first thing. And then they, after that, I was hosting. And I started hosting the uh, Friday and Saturday. That's, right. that's what. That's how it kicked off for me. So I started on stage in front of some people that didn't look nothing like me every weekend, bro. Yeah. All yeah. the way. Every weekend? Every weekend, my nigga. Man, I should've do something. That's how the Star Bar was for us. People would go up and they would have it summed up how we was gonna be. Well, that's how a lot of the white rooms was here. Cause they thought everybody was finna, you know. But, but hey, on the she put that motherfucker in the microwave. Well, what? That bit was up under there. I think I just bit the fire. That's that ha ha ha. When they got do that ha 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 ha. You know, microwave get hot for a second. Exactly, man. If I move that shit around like 20 seconds, they gonna look back, they look like, that shit hot in I'm gonna be like, ha 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 ha. But salute to you, you still trying to talk, boy. You like, ha 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 all the way, man. But you know, like, salute to us, man. And you know, motherfucker, we don't niggas don't get self enough credit sometimes. Salute to us for building a platform and the notoriety to, you know, to build some shit that people come to. You know what I mean? All the way, man. Salute to us. All the way. Because we did comedy when we was just out of pure love for the shit. Right. But salute to God for, for gifting us the Jeez, gift. Come on, man. We Jeez. used to do you shit at the sports God. bar, man. Come on, y'all. Come on. Hey. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. We 
put the pay up on and come over to here, man. Well, I know it was good, because this was times where I've been booked out of town to shows where I literally ain't have zero dollars until the show. Right. I had the most fun I ever had in my life. Remember you told me a story about you doing a show where a nigga had like a boxing ring in a barn or some shit like yeah. that. That was the first show I got $100 for. First show I got a hundred. Yeah, first show I got a hundred hundred dollars for was at Koozie's Biker Bar in, in uh, fucking Mayberry, nigga, North Carolina, nigga. This yeah. shit was crazy. I'm talking Mount mm -hmm. Airy, bro, the real Mayberry. Motherfucker gave us a hundred dollars, most racist shit I ever did in in, in my career to this point. What but you I mean? took the hundred. It was about at least a bit four five hundred people in that bitch. When we went out to that spot. You had a big ass barn. Question the ring in the middle. That's good ass All on the floor. Who the hell is Second level. Uh, Zoo? Zoo Man, you open up a phone uh, for Zoo Man? We both did. Yeah. It, was, it was a show like four or five people. Well, that five. Thank you, fam. It was a real show. It was me, him, Nesto, Zoo. It was a run. I mean, it wasn't a run, but it was just a run. Like, it was once a month or something, right? Mm hmm. Go down to that bitch, eat them good ass wings, let that man pay you that money. Go and door. drive back to the house. Mm -hmm. Gab would cheat then. For real. Fifteen dollars for already after two hours. God damn. I remember this is the craziest shit that ever happened. <clears throat> I think Clayton was with us. I had rode to a show with Noah. Oh yeah. And then we got pulled over on that the way back to too. Atlanta. Noah was driving. That Bruh, the police pulled him over, he said. You swerving a little bit, you been drinking. He said, I had two beers. I said, <sighs> She going to jail. <laughs> you already know what time it is. She going to jail. We out of here. The fuck did you say that for? That's what I'm thinking when he walked back to the car. That man came back, gave him his license. Told him, have a good night. Slow it down. And walked off. Black white man. Nigga, what the fuck is the moral of that? He what is, what is that nigga at? No, no, it was a white dude. No, white yeah. no, oh, no, no, oh, never mind. Shout out to no. No, God, sure, it's my people, yeah. Uh, uh, no, what? You just hear what? I'm Jewish. Huh. We went back and checked their license and was like, <laughs> you have a good day, sir. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like Great my shit. job. Ever seen. Damn. With the police and shit. Police came to no, my door. No, that one time they did, they did come to help us when the cable was loose on the battery. Baby. That's the one time we didn't want to. I'm about to say. We had work in the car. Cause the police came to my door and didn't move. <laughs> what you he mean? Said, he said, you know what? That nigga looked at me. He looked in my eye. I got pulled over me and my partner. <laughs> I already told my partner before the police came to the car. I said, hey, my niggas, I'm finna run. <laughs> and then my car. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Some, finna get the fuck on. Sometimes you gotta run. I'm finna get the hell on, cuz. I ain't going to jail. So you get less time from running than you do if they catch you with whatever you got on you. Yeah, yeah. I'm finna take whatever that's on me, and I'm running with it. Mm-hmm. Man, nigga, Poli came to my car, he looked at me. He was like, "Woody, you got your license? I was like, yeah. And they were finna walk back. He looked at me. He was like, nah, I'm going to just stay right here. I was like, you motherfucker. You bitch nigga. <laughs> Boy, I got, you know how you lean your knee out? Like, you kind of like hit, it, hit right. the door handle with your pinky, kind of lean your knee. That nigga seen my door kind of like slightly open, he pushed it back over. And like, my knee kind of went back over there by the stern wheel. I was like, fuck. He already know what shoot, time it is. Shoot, Not during that time. They were running. That's, that's his name. They just beat your ass back then. Them stories that don't get told enough, like what happened the time when you got away? Like when you, when you got pulled over, and you were supposed to go, but you didn't, my nigga. Them is the success stories right no there. Oh, they tell I, I remember when I was young, we used to just run from the police just because we knew we could get away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, they were slow. In yeah, Mississippi, we all kind of stay back off in the cut. You don't know my hood better than me. I remember one night I had got out of work. I was going home. This is a long ass dark stretch of highway between you my crib down there. And it's about, man, probably two miles, maybe. No. One night I come through that bitch. This one, it was just a straight shot. They put a stop sign right in the middle of it now, so people don't do shit like this. So when I get to the, when it first get dark, I just take off, pass right by the police. But he got to turn around to come get me. So I'm looking at him. He ain't coming out immediately. Then I seen him come out and hit the light. 
take off. Pull the car in the driveway, pull it behind the house, get out, go in the house. They shoot straight past the house. I'm like, got him again. Got him again. <laughs> yeah, got him again. <laughs> got him again. The way out that shit, we had to jump out, boys, nigga. You had to be alert when them motherfuckers pull up. But they pull up in some inconspicuous shit, Dodge Intrepid. Yeah. They gonna pull up yeah. in a white Dodge Intrepid. You name somebody auntie, them motherfuckers jump out the car six deep. Well, them pulled up in that hood with a van. Jump out, boy, man. You won't catch me, though, I tell you that. They pulled up in that hood in a van, nigga. Oh, yeah, they get out of anything. Yeah, a lot of them crazy. Motherfuckers said, go, 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 go. What's that group they had down here? That was that was with the Red Dog? Red, red Dog. dog red Dog punching, but you know they had to start because the Red Dog beat your ass. The Red Dogs were doing all type of Red Dog beat your ass and drag you out the wood by your draw. And we, man, them niggas was crazy, boy. They'll drag you out the wood by your draw, nigga, and show the hood how we, they just beat you and be like, and yeah, be like, yeah, y'all niggas still want to sell dope? Oh, all right, let them come back through here. Nigga, they'll go do, up, they'll nigga go do, fucked do up. a sweep and the motherfuckers, they put on, they'll put them in the van. And ride, and ride around. Ride them up down the street. Yeah, ride them around. <laughs> they ride all the damn, they had these niggas in back here with the door open, with the cuffs on. <laughs> ride around, <laughs> acting like. See who they can pick up, bro. That's fucked Dead up, my nigga. <laughs> you imagine coming outside, seeing your uncle in the van, like, Uncle Jay, what the fuck? Ah! They don't give no. a fuck, bro. Bruh, that ride ride ride. That I'm talking about the too, so you can see everybody. You can see the expression on their face. That's that why they had to find him for. I caught the ad in a little red dog. But he, he, was a, he, was a, he was a rookie. He was a puppy. I ran from his ass. He was too tired to beat my ass. But he put me in the face. When he, before or after you ran? When he, when he called me, cause I, when I was running, I thought I got away from him. But the nigga came out the cut out of nowhere, and I'm like, fuck! And I can tell you, he got a lot of energy, and I'm like, dang, he got more energy than me. You about to get me. He <laughs> never stopped up. running. I never stopped running, though. Man, that nigga got close to me, I said, fuck. I ain't finna let him tackle me. So I dove on the ground. He was mad, cause he, <laughs> he went over me, I went under. I was like, you, I saw him there, he was like. <laughs> but I'm on the ground though, but he ain't go too far. Man, got on top of my head, put me dead in my face. Damn. I was like, why you, why you hit me? He said, why you run? I said, you got a point. <laughs> Did he lock you up? Hey, yeah, he locked me up. <laughs> You better go shirt pants and all that stupid shit. Dumbest shit I ever did was pull up for a bike cop. <laughs> a nigga on a bicycle? Bicycle pedals. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Officer pedals. <laughs> 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 Why'd you pull over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Boy, you about man, to be tripping, man. Oh, man. You let this on the bike pull you over, gang? You had a car? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ain't never really pulled over. He like, didn't know what to do. He was surprised, too. He was like, I was, uh, uh. get out of here. <laughs> My well, nigga ain't had nothing to take your license back to. My nigga, that nigga on the bike, ain't no computer on that bitch. You, even if I am, do I got weed on me? Where am I going? <laughs> on your handlebar, nigga? <laughs> right. right. Mm. No, I'm definitely not about to wait for you to call a backup and two more niggas pull up on bikes. My nigga, hell no. Nah. That is funny, bro. On the bike, bro. This shit happens, man. Your life oh, is a motherfucker, man. bro. That's stupid, bro. That was the best thing about the pandemic, though. Police had to relax. I remember one time the most crazy shit ever, though, bro. We went to racing part of town. My partner did All something. All parts of town racing. No, my partner had to did something at the crib. Somehow, mm -hmm. police on the way. I go pick him up. Are we smoking? Police coming back as we going in with. Police pulls us over. Nigga, we smoking, bro. The fucking window rolls down. Cause I ain't wanna roll the window down and let he see the smoke as he come up. I'm like, fuck this shit. This nigga come to the car, roll down the window, bro. I ain't never seen this much smoke hit a police in their face. The how high? What? I'm talking about the nigga had to wait till the smoke get out the car first. He was like. 
He was like, fuck it. He just came in the car. Look, look, y'all motherfuckers is going to jail. I'm like, nigga, but he ain't even with a trip. He ain't even really care about the weed. He took y'all to jail? Nah, he, he wanted my partner. He ain't do shit. He just let it go. Damn. Not knowing I had a whole ounce in my draw. I hate them police to stick their head in the car. Bro, he stuck in his head in the car. That's crazy shit. That shit make you, that shit catch you off guard. You be caught like. What's up, world? It's your boy Chico Bean. And in case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we're currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85%. That's P E R C E N T E E R 85%. And you'll get 20% off for the first six months. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube, all of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like 5 on 85 and even get special offers and discount codes for 85 South Show merchandise and shows. It's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the entire year. And you can find us online at channel85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, and Roku. And it's even on Android for all my people with the green text. And remember, use code 85% for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85. Subscribe right now. Bowling. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Trey and Nicole. And Dallas, we coming to see y'all on July 30th, and we turning yeah. up. Period. I ain't from Dallas, but I need Tom Boogie. Hey, yeah. I'm from Dallas. And I eat Rudy's, period. They be still eating Rudy's? I don't know, but that was on we, the well, If y'all do, we gonna try this shit while we out there, period. And we are turning I up. can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, I love Dallas. I love Dallas. I feel like y'all gonna show us a good time. Yes. We gonna turn up. We gonna have a good it's time. So, so July 30th, we are at Echo Lounge at Music Hall. The show starts at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. I'm telling y'all, get there on time because we have some special guests coming yes. through. It's gonna be so lit. Let it's me tell y'all. So lit. We got the new merch. We gonna have these shirts on sale. Period. And if you ain't never been to a Poor Mind show, you ain't never had a good time. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets. Go to www.poorminds.com and we'll see y'all July 30th. Here he is. Sometimes you be so fucked up that the police just be surprised that you really, that they got you in that situation sometimes. I remember me and my man Jerome was coming back. We was driving back from Durham to Winston. It's about an hour and 20 minute drive. We drunk as a motherfucker, nigga, in my Saturn. I'm Damn. going like, nigga, I'm talking about, we, nigga, what? We was fucked up coming from a party in North Carolina Central, college oh shit. Goodness. Nigga, I'm going like 96 in a Saturn SW2 wagon, my nigga. This bitch about to explode. I'm going so fast. Floating. Bruh, I'm flying. We ain't got no seatbelts on or nothing. I'm talking about nigga. I never forget, bruh. We used to be flying down the highway. I'm listening to that motherfucker, Project Pat, nigga. I'm drunk as a motherfucker. Nigga. The police officer pull us over, right? <laughs> he pull us over. We put our seatbelts and shit on, right? Try to sober up. This nigga comes to the motherfucker door. Bang on the window, doo, doo, doo. I roll the window down. He like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know how fast you were going? I was like, we're college students, sir. We're on our way back to school. We had a test and we stayed longer. We going back, we had a, made up this goof ass story. He took my license, went back to the car, came back and gave me my license and said, man, if I was to fucking give you, a, I couldn't even give you a ticket. You're supposed to go to fucking jail. Get the fuck out of here and slow down. I was like, yes, sir. That nigga left, let us go. As soon as we pull off, this is how stupid we is. We get away, see that nigga pull around. First thing we do is take our seatbelts back off. Woo! Nigga, we made it. We straight. I'm like, nigga, this is the dumbest shit in the world, bro. I'm talking about liquor make you do the dumbest shit ever, bro. That's why I say that's the worst shit in the world, bro. Hey, man. Alcohol, my nigga. Liquor don't leave. Nobody has been pulled over more times than me and this nigga. I'm convinced. I'm glad. Bro, we used to have to leave the comedy show and you go, start getting creative, go bro. home, bro. Cobb County, it's this one spot. As soon as you get, come up, like when you coming up 75, as mm-hmm. soon as you see that goddamn sign that say Cumberland Mall, they sitting right there by the bridge. It be about mm-hmm. four. Right up under that bridge. Yeah, right before you get to that bridge, it be to this side, to this side. And then it's just like, you can damn near count it down. 10, 9, Woo-hoo. 8, 7. No, they going to whip out first. And they gonna act like they chasing you. Mm-hmm. They gonna act like they had to chase you, so they gonna let yeah. you get up, so they can pull right up. They gonna, and they, they gonna not gonna hit fast. the light. 
Not hitting the light till they get right up shit on Shit make you swerve. I'm talking about. They make you do some just stupid shit to make the you nigga, be like, you think you, you saw like, him, like, him trying to get out of the way. You blink and this nigga is behind you. That's the worst <laughs> feeling ever, bro. <laughs> nigga, you ever been riding on the highway, my nigga, and that motherfucker pull out and you like this? But this is them there every night. I do that all the time. This damn there every night. Yeah, nigga, I remember we were riding down Bankhead. Right? The whole time, nigga, bro. Everybody is driving so slow. I'm like, why the fuck are y'all niggas driving so fucking slow? It's yeah. to the point where you got to yell out your window, like, why the fuck are y'all driving? They driving like 15 mile per hour. I look up, it's the police. Yeah. They don't want to pass the police. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to pass the police. Yeah. The speed limit, 25. At least yeah. I go 10 more miles than this bitch had, nigga. Nigga, I go probably like 30. Ride past the police. I'm like, man, you know, I go straight past his ass, I got somewhere to be. Man, tell me about the police. Ride right past me. Look at me like this, like, OK. Whoop, whoop. Pull me over. I'm like, bro, what you pull me over for? He said, bro, you can't pass the police. I said, bro, you going 15 miles an hour, bro. He what you mean? He told you can't pass the police. And the man said, I can't mouth. You know you can't pass the police. I didn't know you couldn't pass the I'm police. I'm like, bro, you going 15 miles? He said, I don't give a fuck if I'm doing 10. Well, you I, can't pass the police. Boy, I didn't do so like, much shit out the so window. I'm like, bro, y'all so goddamn reckless. Thinking they coming to get me, boy. Panicking, told me throwing so police, much shit out the window, nigga. Possible. You see them motherfuckers pull out, you get the toss and shit. They ride right past your ass like, fuck, that was my last Blunt, but I done they... went back and picked some shit up. Yeah. I threw some shit out in the goddamn Wendy's cup. Bro, that's it. They wasn't even coming to get me. I hit that U-turn. I came back around and opened that door. Bro, you know how goofy you do? Nigga, you know how crazy you had to be to go straight? Nigga, that's some wild shit. Nigga, I'm talking about I grabbed it moving. That's when you That's when you all the way illegal. When you go back, Get the shit that you threw out, hey, nigga. Man. Dirty, hey, man. That's super dirty, bro. That's, that's when it was a little bit more than I needed to be tossing away. <laughs> if I didn't have to toss it, then I did not. That's why I'm glad Boss Bree came in. Come on, when Boss Bree came in. That tightness. What? <laughs> that shit hurts nothing. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I wasn't, I wasn't going for They were like, man, the police go in your drug. I'm like, bro. I don't get it. If they, if they, take, they, if they take the measure, the deep measure to go there, you were supposed to find it. Yeah, yeah. But That's what that, happened to me. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to fight. That nigga went in my drawer. I told you. I told you. Damn, that sounds crazy. He found the sack. He was like, come on, light like skin. He found the sack, right? And Pause. he was squeezing it. Pause. Whoa. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. From top to whoa. Pause. My nigga said that nigga went in my He found the weed, right? <laughs> That's, but listen, that's how I was acting. He found the sack. He no, didn't no, touch that's me. That's how I was acting. He found I was sack, acting like the nigga grabbed my sack. sack. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! I tried. That's how I was acting, bro. Like, he grabbed the weed. And I was like, ah! I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, ah! 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 Then he found the sack and he was squeezing it. Okay, and I was like, ah. <laughs> no! This is crazy, my boy. That's hilarious. I was acting like they were scissors. Ah! Uh, 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 this nigga hit you with a taser, bro. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not even touching up. Oh, shit. Oh, man. He pulled the weed out. I was there hollering. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucked up on it. My is, sack. Is, is that so personal? You, My ball. you know that police officer. Remember that shit, bro. He watching this shit right now. Like, I remember I went that nigga drawers and got the sack. Oh, my God. My ball. Just that. Just that. Just go out there. <laughs> Ball. He's in my 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 
with your body cam on and they see it. I'm like, fuck it, you go to jail, you gonna go out with the game, man. Oh shit. Still look at me, man. Nigga, 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 I'd do that shit. I'd have been doing that shit in court and everything. Soon as they brought me to court, take me to medical. Take me to medical. He ripped my sack off. Hey, man. He hated He was like, he was like, you ain't find nothing. Okay, uh, no seeds, I no stems, them. nothing. I hate them niggas. And then that motherfucker went and put some gloves on. No. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Joe said, no. <laughs> you know what that means. Motherfucker coming in that motherfucker. Brian nigga dug in your drawers. Bro, big time, motherfucker. Pause on this question. Damn. But when he went in your drawers and he going from the back or the front, my nigga, front. <laughs> Bro, this motherfucker was looking at your face. That nigga, what are you doing? Bro, he went in your drawers face to face. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, shit, Clayton. Bro, that nigga sexually harassed you, my nigga. That nigga, that nigga violated that you, bro. That nigga, that nigga sexually assaulted Clayton. And then, tried, so that nah, nigga. then tried to talk shit. He was like, he was like, where do you work? Yeah, I told him, and he was like, the restaurant's like, I eat there. And if you was there and, and you dropped some shit on my family because you was high, uh, I was like, well, does your wife know you grabbed ball? <laughs> oh, you were definitely going to jail. Oh, yeah, you out of here. Yeah, I already knew I was going to jail. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I said I, this motherfucker, it was so small amount of weed, and he was like, tell me where you got it from. And I was like, man, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Nigga, nigga, you finna snitch out these three grams of weed? What? Tell me where you got this from? Bro, bro, get your ass out, my. Where did that come from? Who supplied uh, you with the dope? No. <laughs> hey, you didn't. Three bro, grams. He ain't even getting no credit for making the sack the exact same size as your nuts, man. <laughs> this nigga formed the sack to make it the same size. No, like, what? I had decoy. What can you say though? I admit it now. <laughs> you put that. Hey man, he had it in his hand. What he with him? Oh my God, bro. <laughs> nah, it was in them gloves. You set me up. You set me up. Nah, you went right. in there and wiggled them gloves, nah, and man. then weed came out that glue. Must have, oh, must have been in the pants. Where'd I get these pants from? Oh, <laughs> these pants came with a sack in them. <laughs> hey, hey, do you use marijuana? Nah, man, that's childish. I'm good, that's man. I'm not about to admit to nothing the police asked me. Boy, that, that time we got pulled you over, you ate, yeah, okay, ate that goddamn okay. blunt, nigga. That nigga Carlos ate the J like it was a fear factor challenge, nigga. They be trying to set you up. They always say, look, listen. It's all right if you smoke a little weed, man. That's fine. I ain't looking issue. for that. Yes, you are. Until they don't find nothing but a little weed. I'm like, you low down scumbag motherfucker. <laughs> you think you're going to be smoking dope in this community? Yeah. Yeah. Be funding terrorists. And they ain't, oh. even, they ain't even find no dope on us. The nigga came back and said, hey, just so you know, weed in the state of Indiana is illegal. Have a good day. It's like, bet. <laughs> nigga, we this. This nigga pulled us over and gonna tell us, well, you know, it's a lot of human trafficking going on. We was like, like slavery. Yeah. This nigga was like, well, you mind if we search the car? <laughs> you looking for people? Like, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. They asked me if we had some bombs and shit in the car. Any explosives? I would say. Nah, but I'm about to blow up, though, nigga. My music jumped. Well, they were so, <laughs> they they were so nigga, mad I'm about that to blow night. up. They ain't find no weed in there. Oh, man. Yeah, we were trying to fresh we were somewhere. I remember one thing. I think y'all had to shot a video about this shit. Them niggas pulled us over. 
search all our bags. Had us on the middle of the spread, we just searched all our bags. Well, they like, had us bro. like that in Alabama, hey, dog. Y'all looking for, found nothing, then wanted us to put our shit back in the suitcase. Bro, we in, so we in, we in Alabama. Yeah, zip that up. Coming back from a NACA convention, bros. Me, Brand, Drink, we all in a white 15 passenger van, bro. Mm. Niggas is smoking like a month. We was just arguing about some shit like 10 minutes before. Niggas is in there beefing, arguing like a motherfucker. Niggas, police got behind us, niggas just started lighting blacks, niggas. Like, light the black, get the weed smell out the yeah. light the black, man. That nigga came back to the car, was like, man, yeah, let me get your license. Niggas weed all in that motherfucker. Niggas are stuffing shit, nigga doing to you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the nigga came back and was like, yeah, uh, turn the car off, turn the van off. Then two more police officers pulled out. He was like, fuck, we going to jail, bro. The motherfuckers got out. Search the whole van, they find nothing, bro. Like, well, we're not gonna go through you guys' belongings, but you know, we figured somebody had something in here, so won't you just let us know who's got it? We no, like, I'm nigga, what is you talking you about? Don't to go through the belongings. Bro. Don't nobody got nothing <laughs> no, in this motherfucker. Right, and then Brand got out and went and talked to the police. I don't know what he said to that nigga. Came back and was like, we straight, let's go. I was like, bro, what did you just offer that white man, bro? <laughs> 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 like, what did you just tell that white man to get us free, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry about it, bro. We good. We gone. It was the scariest shit ever, man. Somebody got to talk to him. Yeah, Somebody man. Somebody got to just be wholesome. That's all. That's what you want. We got to... We got to... Somebody like, got to be negotiating. Be quiet. Look. The other fellas, they told me not to bring any weed. And I, I, I brought a little bit. So I'm just going to give you the weed that I brought. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> he gave that to the officer. He said, be honest. <laughs> That's gonna be 25 years. He could have told him anything. Look, this isn't even any gas. You don't look like you don't smoke gas. That's all we got. This isn't premium. This is 87. Where's the eight? Where's the 93? (laughs) I think the best lie I ever told the police. One night I got pulled over. I had drove to this show somewhere down in South Georgia, and and like on the way back, I had to go through these like I went the highway way through all these little back road ass towns, some kind of way the GPS got me off and I was just coming through the highway. Man, this fucking police pulled me over in this town. There wasn't nothing in this motherfucker. He was like, why you speeding through here? I was like, officer, I'm just gonna be real with you. My girl having a baby, man. I gotta get back to Atlanta. I gotta get straight back there, right? She she about to go in labor right now. I'm late, I had a show. I just... He's like, that's not something nobody play about. You slow it down through here, though. Yeah, that's the nah, I told that same story. Got my locked up. Nigga, nigga. Damn, he took you. It wasn't even a lie. Well, it looks like you're gonna miss this one. Yep, gonna miss this one. Best time I got out of the ticket, nigga. That's why I, hey man, that shit saved my life. Speaking of milkshakes, nigga, I went to Chick Fil A and got one of them ice cream cones, nigga. My shit was you fucked up, nigga. You I'm driving back, speeding. I got this shit bad to the motherfucker. <laughs> nigga pulled me over. I'm like, officer, I got, I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. He was like, yeah, all right, let me see your license. Yeah. Nigga came back and smelt them farts I was letting off. He said, you know what, man, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, bro. <laughs> I was like, thank you, sir. Man, them jobs, I'm talking about them. Yeah. Them, them, yeah. I was busting off in the yeah. car. I was like, bro, I'm gonna the shit on myself in this car. And then he came back and was like, look, man, I, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, man. You go ahead and get on the fight. I'm like, yeah, I let you time. He said, that nigga said, I see that your, your address is real close. And I'm like, I told you, bro, I gotta go. Let me go. He was like, yeah, you're good. He said, bro, I gotta go, bro. Let, hey, bro, let me go, bro. I'm about to shit this Let me go and put me in your car so I can shit in your shit. Yeah, exactly. And that shit, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man that's that's all. shit outside. <laughs> You bullshit. That would have been crazy, bro. To have that on the cam, on the dash cam. Shit outside. <laughs> on the police dash cam. Ah. 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 Thank you for not taking me to jail. God damn. I could have made it. Now, now you going to jail for a decent exposure. You was going to get a ticket. Better Ooh. than lock your ass up for shit and outside. I got shit. If I had to go, fuck that. Look, I was... I got the shit, OG. You come over here and throw that shit. Before I lose my dignity <laughs> Bro, that's, oh, that's and a shit on myself, that's a I got so weapon. much integrity. Like, motherfucker, what you call it? Glock Dookie, nigga. Before I shit in my pants. Glock Dookie in the mouth. I should have side parts in my pants. You just went around in jail for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? That's OG Boo Boo. <laughs> Why they call him that? Because when he first got here, he Boo Boo on himself. Boo Boo on himself, big shit on him. You always have. Oh, my God. I would go shit. I don't give a fuck. Where we at, punk? If that was it, you got a toilet, you got some tissue. 
Me? Yeah, that's you. the eat, but when, when you ain't got that, that's the problem. What you mean? You got you got you got a shirt, don't you? You just go shit in your shirt. You don't shit in your shirt. <laughs> you got a tank top, don't you? You got a tank top, don't you? Now you add extra shit, fly. <laughs> you don't need a house with a tank top in your shirt. Fly. It's 13 degrees outside. Just fly to wipe his ass with his hoodie. You just, you just sleeve ball, on his hoodie. Why you put yourself? Put that bitch back on. Why you put yourself in a predicament where you got to shit so bad? You at 13 degrees. You don't degrees. put yourself in yeah, the shit put you in Your that predicament. Your body decide that. Right. You could be perfectly normal. You ain't ate nothing crazy. And then one day, your, your body just tell your mind, shit on yourself. Uh, it's an emergency. <laughs> it's an emergency. <laughs> Everything is going crazy. <laughs> For the first time ever, you can't get in the bathroom over here. So you try, shit, what the next minute? Somebody tell me something. You'll find the bathroom. Yeah, right. And then you get in there, you might shit. And then you look around, you ain't even thought. Ain't hey, shit. This ain't a good place to shit. Ain't, ain't no, no toilet paper. Right you there. ain't even think about What's it. What's the softest thing in here that I can find? I remember one time shirt? I had the shit, bro, and I went in there, but niggas already had the same idea. All the stalls filled with niggas shit, and I'm like, I gotta go in the women's bathroom, bro. That's what I gotta do. Yeah, I gotta go. Too. I got to go, bro. That's women's what it is. Women's bathroom be clean, but get what? And then I'm about to Not leave out that motherfucker. Later. Somebody come in, I'm like, fuck. You had to put your feet up? You had to put my feet up, bro. Fuck You know the right. shittiest place to go to shit? The gas station with the bathroom on the outside. <clears throat> Home Depot, nigga. You go during the day, I was just trying to get some shit for the house, nigga. I, I said, is this where niggas go to shit? <laughs> there was a line of motherfuckers waiting to shit in that bitch. Like, you got shit. Tell me a lot of Migos out there at Home Depot. Everybody was shit, no. It was employees. That's crazy. Everybody was crazy. crazy. That's why I business, man. Once you get like, to a certain fuck? age, you kind of know what you can eat, when you can eat. Right. Shit. You don't want to just go crazy one, like, at your nephew's birthday party on eating Saturday. Eating cake and birthday, eating birthday cake, cake and ice, ice cream, cream and, and shit. I'm sorry. Then you drink a coffee Monday and Tuesday, then by Wednesday. Your shit is all the way fucked up. You I never know. Much, I got too much pride, man. I'm like, if you got a toilet, and if it, hey, man, I done been in some crazy position. I'm a bus guy. Yeah, that we was... learn to survive. Nah, that one on the gas station when the bathroom on the outside, where they got to give you that key attached to like an old you know pool stick. Ain't never seen no porta potty. Oh, the, the, the porta potty. Ain't never seen the porta potty. That bitch be leaning. A porta potty ain't worse as that you outside gas station bathroom. What porta potty? Anybody can talk to you in the porta potty. You said all the conversation. That's the worst. That's one of my biggest fears. What happened? Shit in the porta potty, and then somebody flipped that bitch over. Yeah, 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 bro. That's one of my biggest fears. I will perish, bro. That's one of my biggest fears. Porta-potty one of the worst places to shit. That's why I need to quit smoking weed, because I be thinking of shit. Nah. I'm telling you. You shit in the porta-potty, bro. You got to shit standing up. Ain't no way you sit down. You shit like this, bro. No care. Now you can raise sumo wrestle, my nigga. No way. You just got to shit standing up. You a different nigga if you don't sit on the porta-potty like this. You done been in jail. You open that bitch up and just sit Nigga, that bitch. <laughs> Nigga, dog. What? And a and and toilet paper you can need. put on the seat. <laughs> Nigga, leg sleepy, can't even stand yeah, up. Yeah. You close like, that bitch in slow motion, my nigga. You like, oh, my bad, bro. Only a psycho be <laughs> shit in them comfortable, oh, man. Because I feel like no matter how old you are, if somebody knocked on them, hey, what's doing? No, no, Hey, y'all boys, they must ain't never been no car. Hey, you know what? Everybody who uh, shit in the pool about to try to shit fast so they don't know Oh, man, shit. you hope, it, you hope it's, it's, it's quick. <laughs> To the point. It's shit. not though, because if you got a shit in a porta potty, it's it's emergency. Yes, you is. Oh, if you shit in a emer- porta potty, you gotta understand you're listening to so much fun on the outside. You ready to go back outside? <laughs> 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 so You can't leave your house until you boot it. <laughs> so you can avoid all these type of situations. 
But sometimes it don't hit you till you're already out. Yep. Yeah, nigga. Shit. And it's just, this is that portal party. I take a portal party over that outside gas station. Yes, sir. Bathroom, I take bro. a portal party too. That outside gas port- station when Even that nigga. Whatever over there, you be like, you got a bathroom? Like, yes, it's out there to walk hey. around the corner to the back. Ain't it crazy how you When that shit right there. beside where you put the air in your tires at, nigga, you go in that motherfucker, you be like, somebody died in this bitch, bro. And they got the little hole, and they got the little hole to the next stop. You be like, man, these nigga freaky yeah, here too, man. Nigga, I was a kid. Ain't it crazy if in the first three seconds shit. of getting that feeling, your body know exactly like, how long you be like, yeah. <laughs> You know how long it's gonna be. You man. know exactly how long you get before you can't hold this shit no more. I don't wanna be in this bathroom. You get too old. Dude. They're freaking in here. No, but I'm saying you know exactly to the minute. It's like, uh-uh, I gotta get out of here quick. You gotta get it's out three holes. Out. It's three holes. <laughs> you get somebody to come in, you be like, oh shit, get out of here. You're having too much fun. <laughs> So I, I mean, we was, it was just sometimes. Other people shit go on to make us uncomfortable, man. That shit yeah. is disgusting. But when your own do, you know you done had a bad day when you like, whoosh, ugh. Oh, yeah. Damn, sometimes bro. my shit don't stink, but then sometimes I be like, I don't like to look at that shit. Like, uh, what, what, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I know yeah, that shit started be. tripping. You be like, hold up, let me sit my ass back down. No, I know, bro. Ugh. Oh, they having too much fun outside. <laughs> uh, you know what did me like that one time? The Olive Garden, nigga. I went to the Olive Garden with my daughter, man. I was like, bro, I ain't never eating this shit again. My shit smell like I'm about to pass away, bro. Uh, no. Okay, no. Uh, All right, check this out. What? Now, what if you looked and one shit in there? That didn't happen. It, I'm saying every time you look, though. It just wasn't there. <laughs> bruh. She be like, what the fuck Phantom. I do? Where, where it go? Phantom shit. I'm going to down the drain already. Shit. I pray for a shit that flushes itself in a clean wipe. If I could figure out what to eat, so I just had you have a white and, technology, and you good, you be like, you what the fuck did I eat? I'm you not that turd. You be like, you a cut little turd. You're not good. You, you get no that more. one white, and you think you straight till you start walk, walking, and your shit get crunchy, nigga. You like, wait, oh. Nah, you fucked no. up. Oh, nah, he said the one white. No, nigga. you saying, never good. Saying, nah, you got the you got the Some double. Some of them shit be clean off top. That may I don't have a false white. I don't have a false white. Well, you be like, all right. You wipe again, you be like, hey, you tried to trick me! No, that means you still got a turn in that motherfucker that came all the way. <laughs> that turn ain't come all the way out. Go boy, boy got that turtle head. You need to try to trick me, bud. You need to try to trick me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that boy, you turtle got head, head, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. I think this might be the perfect time to say it. Hey, man, welcome back to the S5. Hey, man. man. It's just random. Oh, random shit. Just yeah. random shit, man. Yeah, man. The world is changing right in front of us. All the way. Cap. All the way, man. Yeah. Everybody, everybody got children now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you be seeing the type of shit people be yes, telling us to talk about on this shit. I don't be paying attention. They don't pay me. What they want? Nah. They act like they cutting the check. Do <laughs> what I need you to talk about. You want some money, though? Do what I need you to talk about. I got one of the only podcasts that don't talk about a lot of goofy shit. Right. We don't want to talk about to. that pussy ass shit, y'all. We don't gossip. Yeah, fuck It's real that. talk right here. Yeah. We, off camera, you know what we talk about? 
Real this shit. shit. We don't be talking about no mom got time for that yeah. stupid ass shit. Uh, shit. Sensationalism. Man. I mean, use our shit and be all in the court. Yeah. Hot shit. topic. Yeah. Nigga be wanting yeah. to go viral. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Man. yeah that's, that's what they want to hear. Hot topics. Yeah, so oh, you bitch can go ass viral. nigga. Huh, I don't want to hear the hot topic. Yeah. Yeah. Shut your ass up. We what? leave people the fuck alone. I'm telling you, hot topic. Pussy again this week, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy oh, still man. hot. Pussy is forever hot topic. Let's make it hot. Make it hot. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> They're having so much fun out there. No, make it hot. The pussy is having so much fun. Hey, 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 don't be on here objectifying women. Let's <laughs> make it hot. <laughs> Cut it out. That's misogyny. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm misogyny and pussy. You guys are not good. We got an AFI side show. Titties. Titties and pussy massage techniques. Fuck what do you buy? The squad. You can make it hot. Yeah. I'm a massage. Make it hot. Yeah, you got to. That's it. You know what I mean? You put your lips together. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, that right, come. <laughs> Fuck that talking about. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. Memorial Day just passed, which means summer is here. If you want to be ready and standing at attention when the time is right, Blue Chew can help. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part is all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. So if you could benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for all our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code 85 South at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 South to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details, for more important safety information, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> All right, look, this next product, I use it, man. I use it just about every day, especially if I'm on the road. I started taking AG1 because I wanted to boost my immune system. I ain't have time, you know, I wanted better gut health, more energy. You want to optimize your immune system. If you hate taking pills slash vitamins and you want a supplement that actually tastes great, you got to see what this is about. So look, with one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All the things that matter most. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything, and it still tastes good. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free tra travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com 85 south. Again, that is athleticgreens.com 85 south and take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. I know I'm getting old. I got, my, I got me a revolver. <laughs> I ain't even got tired. All y'all niggas with them long ass clips, I need six shots. That nigga fly gonna come out. I got tired of you playing those games with you niggas. Hey, I'm getting old, man. See that hey. nigga? That nigga fly up be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we just hey, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop reading the comments too, cause it's a nigga in there. Every Don't week he think I ain't got no fucking socks on. Nigga, I got socks on. I ain't got no socks on. I ain't, I ain't got, got no socks, socks on either. Nigga, I don't like wearing socks, socks and shoes. No. I don't. I don't like wearing socks and shoes. I always got socks on. Certain shoes feel good when you ain't got no socks on. Stop buying them cheap ass shoes. Nigga, what? It's just a weird thing, man. Nigga, you can't wear socks and shoes. Nigga, I think that's some shit a nigga just. Nigga, you ain't got socks on. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Why you ain't got no socks? That's some shit a nigga just, nigga, a nigga looking at his socks and thinking he got something you he ain't got. He might be, though. That's the strange thing about it. I don't know. Oh, man. 
Tell a bitch, nigga, my socks at your whole house, nigga. Make it hot? Make it hot? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking tell me I had on church socks. Uh, that, bitch. Bro, that's the worst feeling in the world, my nigga. Church socks. Having some church socks. I'm in my head on a pair of church socks. Them bitches was like up here, nigga. I, I had love some church socks. Them bitches was knee high, yeah. bro. I had on some leggings, my nigga. Them, 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 church, them church socks will fuck your legs. Bro, I'm talking about it was, you know the sock they give you in the shoe store when you ain't got no sock? That little brown one that you slip over your foot? Yeah. It was the same, like, texture as them. And I had the bitches on all day. When I took the bitches off, bro, I had a line around my leg. I don't like wearing leg. church socks yeah. like that. Heavy, bro. They, like, when you, yeah, when you take them bro. off, when you take the church socks, off, off, church socks off, like you feel like you got wheelchair legs. But who made them church socks? <laughs> like who the nigga that made them church socks? Bro, your socks don't no, need to be smooth ankle, nigga. Your socks need to be <laughs> higher than a motherfucker. You said <laughs> what? Wheelchair man socks? <laughs> no, I said when you take church socks off, it make your legs feel like wheelchair legs. Oh, I thought you said wheelchair man socks. Yeah. <laughs> now you gonna be on your ass. Yeah. You did. You talking about you? You said? I mean, uh, Cat said it. Make it hot. Make it hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Make it hot. Make it hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, That's man! Really funny, this episode right here is dedicated to all the good pussy women. You know why? All the who? Good pussy women. Yeah. You know why? <clears throat> why? Just because it's been a few episodes and we ain't dedicated nothing to them, and they probably think we, we did. Don't they just overheard. It. Everything's dedicated to them. I always say we talk about the pussy. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to say it though. All right, let's dedicate this time right now, right. fellas. Designation. This good ass pussy. Yeah. 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 We talking about that good, non-stingy pussy. Yeah, no matter what time you call, she knows you going to put that whammy on her. So she going to pick up. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you be trying yourself, call it too late. Five o'clock in the morning, my nigga. You been asleep with three kids, man. Let me go to sleep, man. Go home, you trying man. to creep up over here at five o'clock in the morning. That's the worst shit, though, when your freak get a little boyfriend and then she try to cut you off without telling you. Mm-hmm. Talking about she want to be. She I'm trying to do right you by off, him. Though. You end up running into her somewhere, be like, damn, what happened to you? Oh, you know, oh, I'm, so bad. You know I'm, I'm trying to right be now. faithful. Bitch, you trying to decide who you're going to be faithful to, me or him, while you fucking both of us. <laughs> so now you done made your mind up. I can't make my mind up. Like, you ain't tell me to decide. You don't get no choice. We don't get no choice. No say. Right. See, that's what women know. They be trying to act like we be dogs. We don't dog y'all. Y'all got all to say so. It's like the Y'all cut us off. We don't cut y'all off. Damn. Uh, okay. That shit crazy. I know. Cause we act like we cut a bitch off, but we will still fuck with a bitch. Until she don't want to fuck with us. You like that. I should never fuck alone. <laughs> 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 she done cut me off trying to fuck back with her. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, make it hot there. Yeah. Make it hot there. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, I done got this. That shit left for a long. Boy, that thing hurts. <laughs> that's, that's the shit that don't nobody be talking about on the podcast. So, that, that, men, we don't never tell our side of the story. Right. We do be getting chucked out sometimes. We time. be getting, got, we take L. <laughs> all those big ones. I'm talking about. Because when that woman don't want to fuck she with you no more, good. when she done, boy, you don't, she don't give a fuck. If you ate today, nothing, right. nigga. She going to treat you what like you like? a shit. What happened Ashtray. in your last relationship? She thought I was out here fucking with women like you, and now I am. Right. Man, I'm fucked up. <laughs> now I'm fucked up. Trying to get back with my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she that's ignoring your phone call. Nigga, that's, 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 that's a messed up position to be in when you're trying to get so, back with a you're woman. You're trying to get back oh, with a woman who don't even want you. God, my nigga. <laughs> she don't even want you. What you can do? She on to the neck, nigga. Hey, she don't even like niggas. Oh, like no. She oh, laughing at you with the new nigga. Dog. She's showing a nigga and the mouth. She look better. Look at this with this goofy ass nigga just sitting. She look good too. You like, damn, she 
She wasn't even looking like that. Yeah. You like, shit. This bitch is making it hot now. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, 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 she showing them all them hot messages you said. What? They just got finished fucking. Like, why your phone you keep trash. going off, babe? Look what this nigga saying, bro. You talking, I'm talking about one of them long, long ass blue ass. text messages. One of them long motherfuckers. They you got to scroll you, twice boy. to get the message. She don't they give a fuck. At you, boy. They laughing at you, Slim. You yeah. stupid ass, boy. He fucking her on your blanket. Oh. The one you bought him. With them shorts you left over there. <laughs> she, she had them on when he like came this, to the door. You need, to, you need to go. Don't come over here. You know he not no, he not scary. All right, for all the niggas who don't know when he's over, this is how you know it's over. <laughs> this is how you know she all the way through fucking with you. What? If she ever just say, why well, wish you the best? She do wish you had the best, like, over there somewhere. <laughs> she wish you the best, but over there, still bad, nah. but don't you bring your ass Nah, that's the shit she gonna say. Nah, I wish man. you the best. You nah, deserve. what's gonna really hurt is she Everything say this. This shit hurt. This shit hurt worse than anything. K. 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 That's your one. You got nothing else? Just no. K? I hate K. Don't send me K. Don't send me K, okay. bitch. Nah, Don't man. Send me K. You know, you know it's over them. when she, when your girl complain about some shit all the time, like when she constantly complaining about something and then all of a sudden she just stop giving a fuck about it, bro. Like it's some shit she been mad at you about since she, pick your drawers up off the yeah. floor, don't leave them right there. And one day she just walk in and step over them motherfuckers, nigga. Yeah. Once you see that, boy, start buying roses and all types of shit, cause it's another nigga. Right. Making it hot! <laughs> Making it hot! <laughs> Alright, let me ask you, ask you this, dear. Is it harder to get her or harder to get her back? Harder to get her back. Nah, she just doing no it because she knows she got leverage. It's harder to get her back. Yeah, that's nah, she that knows she, know she got leverage, so it's, she gonna play it as long as she's like, all right, he That's why it's harder to get her back. He, he, he tripping, he pulling up at the job because and shit. <laughs> Stacy! This is why Stacey. I say that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get Matt Dolan, he walking past the woman. Stacy! <laughs> Nobody give a fuck about these cars, man. Stacy! <laughs> what you want? Because if you got to get her oh, back, that shit. means she know that who you were to get her ain't the nigga you is. The nigga you got, the nigga you, she thought you was to get her, she know now you not that nigga. So now you got to be a whole new nigga to get her back. Right. So you got to be, you got to get her back. But this is how niggas is. We act like we going to be the nigga she like just to get her back. And you know, say, what you want to do? What you want me to do? And then as soon as we get her back, we like, I got you, bitch. <laughs> We ain't gonna go right back to the bullshit. Bitch, I'm never wearing a suit again. Uh, <laughs> get me uh, fucked up. Oh, man. <laughs> that be all the shit you wanted. Just, but that's hilarious, bro. Oh, man. We do everything, to, we do everything she wants just to get her. And as soon as we get her, we go right back to the nigga she hate. <laughs> like, we just got a fucking problem. What is like that? Fuck? It's wrong with her. She love that nigga, though. Yeah, I know. But it's just a lot of shit that come with that nigga. No. You like the good shit. You just got to She know you were good because the, the, the shit that you did, she knew that you was capable of doing. Oh. She like, see, see? Whatever you did to True. get me, you like, you, you already had it in you. You just complacent. You rather do this shit. Man, man. Once we find out she ain't shit too, then it's on. Right. That's only for ladies who's the shit, not. But once she, you only gonna find out she ain't shit if you want if she wants you to. You'll never know if she don't want you to, nigga. But when she let you it. see she ain't shit, she wanted you to find out. Watch how she right. sleep. You ever she like, wanted you to know, nigga. That Trust bitch finding her sleep, she ain't shit. <laughs> that bitch be in her sleep talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch ain't shit right there. That bitch going through some things. Torment. That bitch is torn. That bitch got trauma. <laughs> when Moneybag says you fighting demons. You fighting demons. You don't take the fight. Damn, man. That, man. that, that shit was funny as fuck, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad. My granny got here with a drink. I can't sleep at night. <laughs> when he said, my real dad lost my stepdad. And this is my fight. My niece story, I don't crack. She's only three years old. <laughs> Monty came back from Vietnam. She's on three years old. I'm fighting demons. That nigga's fuck, bro. That Hey, hey, man. Man. Money, man, man. That's one of the funniest niggas on the web yeah, right man. there, boy. Yeah. All the way, man. Hey. Money!
That nigga stupid. That nigga been doing that shit since we church, bro. He the only nigga that can make all the gangsters in the hood laugh, bro. He be on the block, he be laughing. You know, he out there doing something crazy. Why well, y'all be stupid, bro? Stupid, man. What we got coming up, man? Other than five more. More shows and shit. More shows. We great. Go back on out in the streets and hit the streets. The tour. We got that five on it coming. We got that app out. We got this building on the way. We great. Fuck the game up, man. We great. Fuck the game up, man. What do y'all see when we start cranking out? We get this building up and going, boy. I'm talking about. They gonna hate it. What is going down? You really thought we was entrepreneurs? We are entrepreneurs. We great. <laughs> Make it hot. Uh, oh, no time, all the way. For real. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn sure is. I, I was hot and forgot what the fuck I was about to say. It was probably about something we about to do. You know it's already done. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm through telling these people. They don't even listen. Yeah, they, they don't listen to they, 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 they don't want you to promote it. They just rather you drop it. Do it then. <laughs> do it then. Don't tell me about it. Be about it. <laughs> That's the name of the show we got. Cause do it then. When do we do then. all the shit they said we wasn't going to do. <laughs> <clears throat> they really just be supportive. They just be want to make it seem like they got something going on that's going to act like it's going to be competition <laughs> to stop us from doing Well, do it then. I just want to see you do it then. Do it then. She ain't got that much time. They said as soon as we do it, he be like, well, I do you know all we do. Hey man, upload some more shit. I seen oh, everything. Yeah. I'll fuck with that. He yeah. like, you seen everything, everything. I read? Seen everything. Right. Hey, so why you just ain't say that from the beginning? Instead of you saying do it then, you should have said, come on with the app so I can goddamn support you. Just get he so out. aggressive about shit. Well, do it then. Shit, y'all got a little app. Let me see the little app. Let me see the little app. Well, do it then. This nigga always call shit. Look, let me see your little app. Let me see your little app. Let me see yeah. Oh, y'all doing that little arena, huh? Mm -hmm. I okay, I see y'all doing that little show. Yeah, bet y'all ain't doing no little finale. Y'all ain't did no festival, mm -hmm. nigga. Nigga always go find hey, you. Hey, 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 man. Okay, I'm, I'm see y'all on that little cap. I'm for the app, and, and, and then y'all put the shit out anyway, man. I'm like, I'll just wait. I'm just sit out. Hey man, we still love y'all though. All right, damn. Damn. All right. damn. 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 A lot of people. A lot of people. Like yeah. Yeah. They be riding with me at uh, Popeyes at the airport. Damn, so gave us some food. Popeyes at the airport been fucking with us since before the app. Uh, Popeyes said, "What's up?" Champs at the little shoe store. Champs said, "What's up?" Yeah, well, the people that work there, I don't know the people that Oh, you said they people that work there? Oh, yeah, oh, nigga, people that work shout everywhere. Shout out to Popeye, we want shout commercial. Out to the, shout, shout out to the champ, we want commercial. Shout out to the lady at Smash Burger that gave me that free meal in, uh, in shout Nashville. Shout out to we want commercial. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that look out for us because they watch this shit. And they, Especially in the airport. In the airport. Yeah. In the I'm airport, cow. everywhere, man, all over America. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. The motherfuckers that be at the Flying J, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when they on them yeah. road trips. Man, I'm listening to y'all right now. <laughs> Five guys, what's happening? Right there, it ain't That's the coldest shit, though. No cap. When people pull up on you and they listening to the shit, or you ride past somebody and you be like, oh, that's oh, that's up. Sometimes yeah. they be doing that shit on purpose, though, because they seen me before. So they'll, they'll cut it up and ride past me and be like, hey, man, that's that crazy. <laughs> My nigga seen off. me, nigga. Nah, you know it's genuine. Nigga run up on you in the mall, nigga. I done with it better the mall, and a motherfucker be having the headphones on, walking past, watching. I fucked a nigga up in the mall one time. He had this. Had the shit sitting there watching. I tapped the nigga on the shoulder. He said, Bro, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I was like, Yeah, appreciate you, Slim. Thank you. That shit All crazy. Way, I remember one time we were going through TSA. And that nigga was watching that shit through TSA. He be like, He seen see my the same way with you. He seen my ID. He be like, Nigga, you, nigga, you ain't gonna believe it. Look at this shit. I was like, Nigga, it's 5 30 in the morning. <laughs> He needs, I'm like, you supposed to be checking people in. Yeah, and you watching us out. Yeah. That's you know crazy. I mean? yeah. Beautiful, Ain't no man. Ain't no telling what yeah. pass through Appreciate this Appreciate you. We say all that to say we understand why y'all get a critique you give, because you're really invested in this so shit. Oh, that shit be crazy, because especially when we all have flights at different times. Right. Like if They I, always going to tell us who came Yeah, yeah like if we come through that motherfucker, they try to make it seem like you missed the flight. Shit, uh, Chico name was here earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you must have missed your shit. <laughs> you be walking back there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shit be crazy. They can see us be like, man, god damn, you too, man. We just seen your boy Carlos and Neiman. So it's like, word, that nigga was over there. Yeah, you want me to go get him? Nah, man, it's straight. Let that nigga, that nigga, nigga go in there. And then four concourse down there. Bruh, no, I'm not waiting on you to go get this. And they ask every time. I fuck when DC hit, yeah, whenever they see it, yeah. when DC, with Carlos? Yeah, that's crazy, because where were we at, dude, when I just pulled up on you at that store? Uh, we was in, uh, where was we at? Damn, we was uh, in Ohio. I pulled up and went to that In shit. Columbus, Ohio, walked nigga. Right around the corner. This nigga walked right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Crazy as shit ever, man. All the way. Stay down. Stay in the game. Stay in our lane. This is a special about that time, man. Really about that time. About we that time, man. Yeah. A lot of shit coming up, man. Okay. Y'all, yeah, hey, stop. keep doing what the fuck y'all doing, because everybody at the table got their foot on it's the motherfucking up. gas. We're making it hot, dude. Making it hot. I'm yeah. massaging that pussy. Hey. I'm massaging. You a massage? Let me massage. I'm massaging. 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 i am massaging i am massaging i am Big pussy a myth? Ooh. No, it's not a myth. Nah, it's a big it's a pussy fact. out there. Big you be pussy. Like, that man. pussy belong on uh, 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 a walrus. <laughs> you like, shit. Oh, All right, that's time to go. <laughs> that lets you know it's time to go. Make it hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to make it hot. Let's get out of here. Once we get the walrus pussy, we just we, we didn't hit the wall, my nigga. It's time to go. It is all over. So you trying to say we hit a new wall? <laughs> we, 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 we hit the wall. It's time I'm to go. I'm only speaking from my experience. It is all over. Stop before we go too far. Right, I'm only speaking from my experience. Hey, man, stop the show. We <laughs> Not a walrus, man. Not a big fucking walrus. Yo, man, too. I done finished a big push.